Y'all know obsession isn't healthy, right? Oh my goodness. So I think we've all have seen Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer, okay, in all of its glory. Now, upon this trailer coming out, there has been, you know, an uproar of people who have been praising it, but also there's been a backlash of those individuals, you know who they are, the lineage of evil, who are screaming and crying, talking about it's woke, it's woke. Rockstar has gone wokeity, wokeity, woke. And they have gone so far with this woke uh, uh, mindset to now simply just say it's woke because it has black people in it. They are upset at the representation of black people in the game. Not because it depicts them doing debauchery of their, uh, of their culture, but the reason being is simply their existence. I kid you not, I don't know what is wrong with these people. <laughs> I don't know where, where they come from, but I do know their ancestors, all right? I, that's one thing I do know. And I just want you to understand one thing that Paul Mooney says that still is prevalent to today is that, hey, nothing can be too white. Because you can't have a black conscience. It's all right to have a white conscience. Mm -hmm. Things can be too black, but they can never be too white. They can't be white enough. Now, you've heard white people go, that's too black. Mm -hmm. What nerve? But no one says that's, that's, no one goes around saying that's too white. That's what you have to say. Nothing can be too white, but it can be too black. It 100% can be too black. You have people who are saying, hey, they are tired of black people. That's what they're saying. I believe it's a, 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 a black, uh, black tiredness or something like that. I forgot the words that they're using. But I want you to think about that. I want you to think about that. And to understand where this fragility comes from, to understand, to truly have a grasp on where this eternal victimhood mindset stems from, we, I mean, you have to understand the, the lineage that they stem from, but also current and present day propaganda. One case is gonna be the term woke. You have a whole bunch of people saying everything's woke, 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 woke. Now, we know as far as where the origin of woke stemmed from. It came, to, it came from the black moon. It came from talking about certain social issues that were, uh, that were affecting us. That's what it had to deal with. Is that, hey, you knew what was going on despite what the media was promoting. Now, what they have managed to do is malign that. Think about this wickedness. They have managed to malign you discussing you and being concerned with your people and your community as a bad thing. Because you have to understand, anything that promotes that empowerment is damaging to the system. That's what you have to understand. It's, it's a plague to them. So what they have managed to do is make you feel bad about you. This is the same pattern that they've done, make you feel bad about your nose, your lips, your skin color. And they've managed to try and divide, to have black against black. Hey, you too black, hey, you too light. That's what they have managed to do in order to cripple the group. In addition to bastardizing the term woke, what they have managed to do is lump it in with alphabet. That's what they've also managed to do. So anytime you hear, as far as these demons, talk about woke, 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 usually has to do with, as far as alphabet, and it usually has to do with uh, black representation. That covers 99.9% of when they use the term woke because the most the majority of people who use the term woke are usually 90 percent of the time predominantly as far as white conservatives those are the people who use the term woke because they feel that they are being attacked it's the same argument than when they talk about as far as diversity in their head diversity means means anti-white it means there's no white but in actual reality what it means it means in addition to white there will never be a case Okay, a movie, a story, nothing that will have no white people in it. Okay, even uh, Wakanda. All right, even Black Panther had white people in it. So <laughs> this, this, this fear, and you have to understand that's what they run off is fear. Okay, this fear of them being a race and oh, we're being attacked. That is what promotes them and and enforces and enhances their wicked behavior. So coming back to the GTA 6 trailer, you have to think about it. Instead of enjoying the trailer, what are they focused on? Think about this. What are they focused on upon watching the GTA 6 trailer? They focused on you. <laughs> Can you believe that? Bro, they, 
their focus on us. Imagine watching a trailer and your primary focus is black people. That's wild, bro. <laughs> That is wild, okay? That is wild. Because in the trailer, there were plenty of white people, okay? Plenty of other, other people besides black people. But their main primary focus was black people. So now they feel some type of way due to what they're focusing on. Not that it's a reflection of reality, but because they feel that they're being left out. They feel that, hey, the attention, the spotlight is no longer on them. And then you have those, you know, the, the, the racists who try to, to make satire of it. Well, the reason why they're focusing on black people because it's a, it's a game about crime and stuff like that. And I find that so interesting because they're so delusional. Where in reality, I was like, well, I guess if they were focused on bestiality and, and messing with uh, kids, I guess there would be a different demographic. If it came to, I don't know, larceny, if it came to... Uh, 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 let's say uh, embezzlement, if it came to tax evasion, it came to, I guess maybe it would be a different group of people that they would have, huh? <laughs> Nevertheless, <laughs> I just find it interesting, the fragility that many of these people have because it's on full, full display here. And the funny part is, is that for every John Brown in this country, there is about 20, 20 fragile Confederate soldiers. Okay, that's what the, that's it's just as simple as that. For every John Brown who's like, hey, let's, you know, why, why we have this cast? We can include, you know, black people who are of merit because what's when they're talking points, you guys want color or not merit. There are black people who, who are just as smart as you, just as intelligent, just as strong, just as good as acting, okay, can write just as well. Um, and you have these John Browns who are like, let's put them in there. And sure enough, there will be an outcry by the fragile groups, the fragile people of this country time and time and time again they will always focus on them being a victim hey they don't like me hey why is this why am i not being represented here hey why is there only one white person here? hey wait. always time and time again this victimhood complex and it's unfortunate it really is that it's now we're now talking about a video game and they crying about black people being in the video game Anyways, guys, that's the video. Let me know what you guys think. Whether or not you believe, Luke, 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 you have to understand, all right? You, you have to understand, well, there's too many black people in the game, okay? I'm white. Where's my representation, okay? They're trying to erase me. Or if you can't believe, sir, for the last few hundred years, you've had nothing but representation. Even still today, you have representation. Matter of fact, you have so much representation, you have Asians, Hispanics, and Blacks all representing you. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? This fragility has got to stop. Lord, thank God for the John Browns of this world. Um, anyways, <laughs> if you happen to disagree with the video, you're more than welcome to call in during disagreement days. We're typically held Friday through Sunday. There'll be a number on screen. You call in, we duke it out. Either or, Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, comment. I expect a ton of fragility in the comments. Okay, don't disappoint me. And subscribe and all that fun stuff. Till next time, guys, be amazing.